Hey, hey, yo, this is for Mr. Saka, and it's based on a tweet you made about Periscope, which I thought encapsulated Twitter's problems, because I'm not mistaken, you're a board member. You openly say you've got more skin in the Twitter game than anybody else, more than the workers, so you're a board member, which means any CEO, anyone hired, would ultimately have to answer your point of view to some degree. And therein lay the problem. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to, in part, put the problem with Twitter at your feet. But more than just you, it... <sighs> and I'm not trying to be cute either. Okay? I'm really being serious. Partly because I'm over 50 and I figure, like, you know, hey, why not? Um, also, because I've been in this for a long time, even though I didn't have the great success and I didn't get a chance to land the great investor, I have some great ideas. And I'm when I've been able to put them to use, and when I've been able to implement them, the ideas have worked. That aside, for another discussion, let me get back to my main point. When I established sports business simulations, make online simulations of sports organizations for use in the classroom, I learned something, and I learned it this way. A student was using the Oakland baseball sim world and had lost $150 million in one year. Now, the Oakland baseball similar was designed to be used in the classroom. And you could actually run the business of the Oakland Athletics, all real numbers, all real outcomes, and so it was used at the University of San Francisco Sport Management Program and ultimately about 40 colleges and high schools around the country. We could have done a lot better than that, but that's another story for another time. Still can. But when Kelly made this mistake, but I thought mistake, I thought, oh my god, this is terrible. She, they can't let her use the game that way. And then, rather than engineering a stopgap, where she couldn't lose money, 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 I thought to myself, how do you stay within the objective of the game, which is what I call numerical realism? And yet, at the same time, not change the game so that numerical outcome of loss does happen. And bingo, I realized, hey, what would happen in real, real life if a baseball organization she ran lost that much money in one year? Major League Baseball would contract it. So what did I do? I designed a contraction algorithm. And it really improved the experience of the game for everybody. Not that it was bad to begin with. But what I learned then is that you let the market take the game technically in ways you didn't expect, and you, then you adjust. But you don't complain or try to prevent something from happening outright. Your comment about taking Periscope and making it uneditable so that someone can produce clickbait, to me as a growth hacker, was scary. Because you want that kind of clickbait because it produces traffic that causes your platform to grow. But what you're telling me is, hey, look, I don't want that. I just want to cut it off. If a CEO happens, happens to be at Twitter and has to answer to you at the board, and you have that kind of attitude, that attitude born of the smallest, beautiful Bay Area and the movement, that minimalist ethic that produces the cool designs at Apple and the black t-shirts and jeans that were Steve Jobs day if you represent that you're going to hamper Twitter's ability to grow because that ethic was fine and got Twitter to the point that it's at but it's damaging Twitter's ability to redesign itself for the next quarter of the 21st century and unless you rethink how you think about market and its impact on a platform, Twitter will never succeed. You have to allow the market to take your product in directions you didn't expect it to go. So if someone wants to make, but, but enhance that, and if someone wants to, to make a, an adjustment that way, you know, clickbait or whatever you call it, let them. If someone wants to make a third-party app, let them. But what you're putting out there and suggesting, that's, it's almost it's communist. You're a commie. 
you know. So just give that some thought.